So Leslie, thank you for being here. And uh, well, I, I um, wanted to ask you a bit about what you do at uh, Vodafone Sego. Uh, I know you've been there for a couple months already. So how has it been? Yeah, I think I joined um, February, so two and a half months ish. I basically joined the team, which has, uh, in my eyes, one of the most exciting projects that are going on right there. So we're actually working on what they call My Photophone Zakelijk, which is basically their enterprise platform. So which is what they use to, I don't know, uh, guide government officials or any other company that uses it. Uh, and we're actually uh, responsible for the migration of it. So it's a very old old project, old platform. So uh, over seven years of development has gone into it so far. And uh, it's now our task to um, try to renew that a bit and also um, you know, try to speed up things like the performance, developer experience, UI in general. So basically everything is currently being renewed. Uh, there's a new design for it. We're still using the old API, which we talked to. Unfortunately, we can't touch that. Uh, but we have complete freedom of at least trying to add some layers in between, which is actually what we did as well. So we have a little more control of what we're exactly doing. So yeah, I think it's it's very exciting. It's always nice to join a platform and a team where there is this level of maturity, at least in what the, the functionalities need to be. But I wonder what has been the, the challenge, the most interesting challenge so far? Is it related to adding this new set of flexible layers, as you mentioned, or maybe also the, the speed or performance because the stack and, and the web has evolved in these seven years uh, that, mm -hmm. that this project has been on. So what's what are your insights on that? Finding your way within the project at first is, of course, a bit of a challenge. But I think what is most challenging is the domain itself. So um, the fact that it has so many years of development in it already sometimes makes it very hard to build a feature correctly right away. So there's a lot of research involved besides just developing, which I I really like a lot. Yeah. I'm not the kind of person who enjoys grabbing a ticket and just, you know, typing it all out. I like being able to research a bit, try to understand exactly what I'm doing and why we're doing it. And then, like you also mentioned, try and find ways to improve that during the development. So along the way. So, um, yeah, I take a lot of things into consideration when I'm building something, when I'm either building the API layer or actually the performance of the website itself. So, yeah, I think it's all together combines for a very interesting and challenging experience. Beyond development, we would exactly. say, right? Because it is not only the coding part, but the figuring out part. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. So you mentioned already, I think, a couple of things on the stack, but uh, what is the stack that you are using? Yeah, so um, on the front end, we use React. It is originally an AngularJS application. So it's, yeah, it's very old and it's interesting to read the code and be able to understand it and then, you know, transform that to React. So uh, we use React with TypeScript and we built a middle layer in between uh, with Nest, Nest.js. I see it as a bit of a super powered node. <laughs> um, and we have a GraphQL um, API in between. So we basically proxy through the GraphQL API towards the original one. And I think that what I like about that decision is that you have a lot of flexibility in terms of what you actually send back to yourself. Gradually. Yeah. This is definitely one of the m most interesting improvements in those seven years, the introduction of GraphQL and this uh, shift of responsibility to the front end to figure out what you need. That's uh, mm -hmm. quite interesting. Uh, is yeah. there something coming down the line in the roadmap that you're very excited about? So I am personally just looking forward to the point where we're a bit further into the migration. Right now, it still feels like we're sort of taking baby steps, but you can see that the team is maturing, the code base is maturing, and things are just starting to speed up a lot now. So yeah, I am, I am just excited to work on this uh, for the most part. That's really exciting. And the, the Vodafone Sego client team for us is one that has been growing quite fast at Fashion People. So mm -hmm. I guess that, that teamwork is also exciting. Even though you work at different business units and different teams inside it, do, do you guys communicate often and, and share stuff around it? We do communicate a lot with the other React teams, which I haven't experienced to this extent before, which I like a lot. For example, every, every other week on Monday, we have a meeting where the React developers come together and we can ex exchange some knowledge, exchange what we've been working on, and then that way also figure out that we might be able to share something in between. But yeah, the communication at Photophone Ziggo is, is very important and it also helps the teams a lot, I think. 
Wonderful. Well, being in the communications industry, it kind of has to be, right? Yeah, you <laughs> so, <can> imagine. <laughs> Leslie, thank you very much for being here and sharing this uh, with us. And that, uh, well, we're excited to see how this is going to evolve soon. Yeah, thank you. Glad to be here.